today we need to get into TXT being mistreated and what happened there. We need to talk about a shirtless video or clip circulating and what people are saying about that. And then we have TXT's reaction to a group disbanding. So you don't believe it's safe to say hate or not. Make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on and grab your dumplings, his spilling mug merch, and let's go. Recently, we had Subin share his favorite songs through social media. This is a big deal for a lot of people in any K-pop fandom because it hints at the type of music that the idol is into and what they might create next. If they're at a season where they're only listening to pop or really upbeat music, you can probably expect that genre to resurface in their own music, or at least that genre would be pitched to the executives, which means there's a chance it will be in their own work. It also makes the fans feel closer to the idol when they are listening to the same songs and same groups as the idol or the fans can try to give that artist a listen. Music choice is very personal and the fans feel like it's a friend recommending hidden treasures to them and oftentimes in these lists that the idols share online the songs aren't always what's trending or the mainstream artists. So Subin shared a list that is more mainstream and the list consists of groups like EXO and Block B. People were making jokes online because I think in the past Subin shared groups that were mostly female and then some of his idols that we know of consist of women like BB Rexa. So I think a lot of people just thought that if he were to share a list, it would mostly be female. So then it became a joke that since a possible favorite of Subin, the group G Friend, had recently disbanded, that Subin is so crushed by that he decided to never stand another girl group. And I understand that completely. It would be hard to invest so much time into a group, but then have them disband. However, I don't think idols get that obsessed with the group as much as we do, since they're usually so busy they're only able to keep up with the surface level stuff. And so, I mean, you won't really have Subin staying up till 2 a.m. waiting for the concert tickets to be on sale. He could just have his publicist reach out to whichever group he wants to seize publicist and then go get a ticket. Of course, a group disbanding hurts a lot, but I don't know if he would ever get super upset to the point where he would swear off girl groups. And I also know this is just a joke and it's not actually what happened. However, I did want to add that there is a very technical reason why either before or comeback or during the promotion period, Subin and any other member might be binge listening to boy groups. It's very important to keep your eye and a pulse on everything that's going on in the world. Also looking at successful groups before them to see what strategies worked and what didn't. Every generation, including my own, thinks that their generation is the most original and the best. Bottom line is, we all have ears, we all have hum we are all human, and our tastes, our emotions are sometimes similar. And so seeing what has created pandemonium for other groups fandoms can do that same for their own and also trying to listen to the types of music that has been successful and not just what promotion style is successful because a label will give you a generated map or guideline to how they think the album or sound should be promoted if they do that and the album flops it's not like they take the blame and then have you retry no you get punished for that your album gets frozen and you can't put out music so it's important to do the little things that you need to do and ask for them during the promotion if you're seeing that EXO was successful during their period because they live streamed more or posted more on Instagram, then you need to go to your executives and ask them to do that. And if there is any bad treatment or whatever it is, the boys will be the first to speak up on it. And I think it's appropriate to be mad. And it was believed that TXT members actually talked about a poor performance that was not really their fault. TXT recently did a Mnet or Mama performance and people felt like they attempted to sabotage TXT. So what happened and what is going on? This is a collection of many things, some of which have validity, others don't really. So the TXT members were giving a speech and apparently the show cut off the mic to stop them from talking. This was also considered an attack on TXT. I have a lot of opinions on this and this comment comes from people not understanding things, not being able to think outside of their anger. And this argument is always said with something else. So something as small as this, and I will explain why it's small, is coupled with bigger things. It makes it easier to look like an award show is evil or whatever when in reality these would just be little things that are not personal things. At award shows, it's timed, it's not social media. I think people are so used to seeing videos on YouTube or social media where if an idol needs an hour to get their point across, they can take that. Whereas a TV show will get a fine if they run over a certain time slot and it's not cheap because other networks, shows, producers pay for the spot right after a show. So if an award show is supposed to end at 9 p.m. and even if it ended at 9.01 p.m., the show that was slotted for 9 
p.m. to 10 p.m. will now need to be cut a minute, and that minute could be crucial for the story or whatever. We also have things like advertisers who would be mad, and advertisers pay a lot to be on TV, hundreds of thousands to millions. Of course, this isn't a big issue in Korea because there's no ads in the middle of a show, but there are ads in the US, and within that minute, that the 9 p.m. show was cut could be a minute that the advertisers had paid for for that 9 p.m. show and not that award show. Does that make sense? So that's like saying if you bought a spot for the Super Bowl, but then your ad was put in front of the show before the Super Bowl, you'd be pissed because those ads are like $3 million. And I don't know where TXT speech was. Was it in the middle of the award show or was it right after at the end? But it doesn't really matter because if the show still had a lot to go through, then they can't afford to give TXT another minute to talk then they turn the mic off and keep going. Or in a situation in which no one thought of, it might not even be that complicated. What if it just had a microphone malfunction? So it irks me when it's people being upset and throwing a tantrum and it's over something they don't understand. The other thing that was also more recent was apparently during TXT's performance, the camera work was on an empty stage. The camera work was very sloppy and kept showing the audience rather than the performance. People were angry about this. I understand the anger, but again, the fandom can be very tunnel vision or self Selfish to their own favorite idol that they don't realize this is something Mnet has struggled with for all groups and TXT has not been the first to have this happen to them. With even Reddit posts talking about how sloppy work from years ago. TXT is sort of the sweetheart group of K-pop right now and especially since they're from a big label I don't think anyone is trying to hurt them or purposely try to treat them badly. However a lot of people online always have such interesting things to say about the members. Recently Taeyoon was doing a performance and during the show, he showed his abs. People were going absolutely wild with this. But of course, since this is K-pop, people were saying that Taeyoung was a slut and was being too slutty for showing his abs. I don't like this idea, but abs have never been a slutty thing. Either women or men showing abs, not slutty. Not a private body part. Taeyoung gets complimented on his abs by all his members all the time, and people like to say that abs are used for marketing. And it's true. Since he has such a beautiful abs, why not show it off and get people to follow him because of that? One of BTS's first appearances in the US, Jungkook made sure to show his abs on TV and it worked. People loved it. However, people are very scared that the boys would get upset if they ever see rude comments like this about their body and would eventually want to quit. I will say every artist probably has moments in which they would want to quit, but I wouldn't take that to say that they would ever actually quit. The point of having a career is for themselves too. I think people like to think that an artist does things only for fans or only to show love back to their fans, but people forget that if it wasn't for a self-drive or a more good selfish desire to be successful, they would not have accumulated an audience to begin with. So yeah, they can get backlash, but the idea that a lot of people do adore them, a lot of people love their music, and a lot of people have their faces and merch everywhere. This all outweighs some rude comments about their body. You can have a perfect body, but the moment you are famous, people are going to rip it apart. Oh yeah, he has abs, but it's not as defined. Or you hear, yeah, he's handsome, but he's a literal idiot. And people will come up with something. I've said this before, if you do want to get into an industry where you become a public figure or create art on a more famous global level, you have to be secure in yourself. If someone says that you're ugly, you can't just fold because of that. You have to know where you are on the attractive scale for yourself and truly believe it, that those words can never touch you. Do you need to have really defined abs to be considered hot? Not at all. Do you need to be the smartest person in the room all the time just because you're famous? No, not at all. And some of the smartest people I've met have have had full on derp days. And if you just recorded them on those days, you think that they're absolutely stupid too. I don't like that we live in a society that is very judgy, but what are we to do about that? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos, link down below. Thanks, just leave a comment right here. Love you, bye.